Hi folks, Old South Sales in Jackson, Mississippi, where we sell mostly diesel trucks and motorhomes and trailers, but every once in a while we'll buy something just because we like it, because we think it's cool. It's what we're going to list today. This is about as slick a thing as you've ever seen, and I can think of a million uses for it. It's an O2, O2 Ford E450 chassis. It has uh, the 7.3 liter diesel engine, which is the best Ford engine, best engine anyone ever made, much less just Ford, the 7.3. This chassis, however, the, the body is made by Bluebird. It's only got a little over 213 or 203,000 miles or something. On it belongs to the YMCA on the side. They, I guess they took immaculate care of it. We'll show you the inside based on how you see it'll hold up to as many as 30 people at three to a seat. But this is a cool deal, folks. For a small church or a private school or just a have or for kids, I mean, anything, this is handy as it can be. And it's a nice one. It's rust free, sitting on a good set of tires. There's not much to pick about it. Come on, we'll show it to you. The paint's good, the glass is good in it. You can see all these ramps, mirrors, lights, everything works. It's uh, It had a little bit of clear right there, but we fixed it. Uh, E450, got the heavy duty chassis, got Firestone tires. So that kind of tells you how well it's been maintained. Seats aren't ripped up. Got the uh, armrest, got the Ford. You can idle it up higher if you're sitting here. Uh, you know just letting it run and park or something the uh two sets of keys air conditioning front and rear you can see under this mat all the vinyl and stuff's good that was built in 09 of 01 on the bluebird plate you can see it says 02 no rust in the cab corners or bottoms of the doors oh, the lights work these and everything uh, i hadn't even tried them okay I I want, to, I want to show you, let you hear it crank up while we're sitting here. Fires right up. You can see good oil pressure, good volts, no warning lights lit. I don't know if I pushed the right buttons. I guess they were. I don't know. It's all tinted glass and everything. There's your rear air conditioner set up. Diesel fuel. That's kind of hard to open. It's, okay. It latches on the inside. But I like all. The, it's tinted windows. I like the fact that all the glass is good. Look down the side. 233,000 miles running perfect. Look down the sides how straight it is. A micro bird. Let me see. Well, there's 12. There's 12 seats in here, son, so basically. There's 10. Huh? 10. Oh, okay, I These don't yeah. count. There's okay. 10 plus. They have these luggage racks. Not, none of the other ones we've had have luggage racks. Look how nice the seats are. Not a one of them is going up. They've got seat belts too. Well, I think there's seat belts for 20. I think there's seat belts for two to a seat. Or there may be three. Two or three to a seat for belts. And then, uh, let's see. There's three. Anyway, it's got seat belts. It's got seat belts. And got the emergency escape hatch in the roof in case you flip it over, which that'd be pretty hard, but just in case. Uh, there's the Bluebird sticker. Oh, I showed that up there to show. You can cars. see capacity 30. I can get the sun to hit it just right. Model year 2002. Because the chassis may be an old one, that might be how it was tied. I think they deactivated the flasher since it's not being used for a school bus anymore. 
I'm out of service. But Probably just pull the fuse from the side of the only thing I know of on this thing, on this whole thing that doesn't work just right is the rear fan. It works, but you hear it, it makes a little racket. Probably got some trash in the squirrel cage or the blower or something, no big deal, but I just want to point it out. I don't want bad feedback over a fan. No, and I did say you can't see it. Uh, I did say down the window, so there's a crack in one window back here. And that's just flat glass, so it's not a big deal if you want to change it. One thing that's nice, you look at these seats, usually a school bus, the seats are just hammered. But these are all, I don't think they have any rips or tears in any of them. Uh, I can't imagine what the wide be doing with this anyway. All the swim teams are good. But anyway, cut folks, it is super nice. If I had the time, I probably should have just painted it white and sold it as a church bus. Bring a lot more. Or somebody will probably just buy it for the engine. I mean, the engine's worth six, seven thousand. But it's a good-looking bus, folks, and it is absolutely be fun to own. You can do a million things with this. Arizona school bus inspection, new inspection. I guess it was sold in Arizona, new. And then it comes to the Mississippi Department of Human Services, who let the Y use it. All right. Now they do take the radios out since it's a school bus. Um, well, the radio is farted off. I want to put it off. Bluebird Micro Bus. We, we never had one of these, have we? No, they were all made by Midbus or Charter. We hadn't had any microbirds. Folks, if you just needed something like this, I mean, why would you go spend, who knows what this thing costs in this day and time. I'm sure. hundred grand it's, probably. It scared the heck out of you what it costs. But you're not going to wear out that 7.3 liter engine. And as nice as it is, you get years and years of service out of this bus. It's a 2002 Bluebird Microbird. Ford E450 chassis with a 7.3 liter Ford di turbo diesel engine in it, folks, sitting on a good set of tires. There's no tricks to it. There's nothing we can disclaim. It looks great on the outside. The, inter the interior is just about dead solid, perfect. It's just a time capsule, and it's a cool, cool little old bus to own. Got a million uses for it. Thanks for watching our video. We do appreciate it. Very, very much. I mean, and I mean that, that people stop and spend the time to watch our videos. Thank you for that. We look forward to visiting with you about this bus, seeing you here in Jackson, Mississippi. Hi, folks. Dan Dell here. You've been listening to my dad talk about this van, bus. Now I'm going to take you on a little test drive. Before I do, just want to show you a few things. It's got a fresh, uh, only about a year old Walmart five-year battery, three-year free replacement. Got the extra hookup if you need to jump something off. Main thing I want to show you is it's pretty clean under the hood. We just rinsed it off so parts a little damp, but we don't clean under hood. But I want to show you right here a little bit of wisp of smoke, but smoke's not a big deal as long as it's not puffing. The main thing is you see I set the cap down and it doesn't blow off. If it were to blow off, that would mean blow by. And what that is, is engine compression getting past the piston rings and into the crankcase. It's not necessarily the sign of a bad engine, but it's a sign of wear that this bus doesn't have. So now I'm going to hop in. We'll take it for a little quick spin. Okay, now we're in the bus. I'm just going to take you for a little quick spin. You'll have to excuse my shaky camera work because I'm filming with one hand and driving with the other on some of the worst roads in the city of Jackson. So even though the video may come out a little shaky, rest assured, the bus, excuse me, the bus itself has a great ride and drive. Only has one little rock pick. I don't know if you can see it, but it's round, so it's not going anywhere. Now, this is a school bus. It's hitting the Cadillac, so, you know, it's not exactly what you call quiet going down the road but the main thing is it goes down the road like it should it doesn't pull to the left or right it doesn't pull or vibrate when you hit the brakes it gets up to speed 
with no issues, shifts out through all the gears, all that stuff's good. One thing I really like, because I'm a, a large guy, is that it's got a tilt wheel. A lot of these buses, most of them really, the steering wheel is in one fixed location, and on some of them that's not exactly comfortable, but on this one, you can actually, especially getting in and out, but on this one with the tilt wheel, it makes it a lot easier. Um, so, just one less thing to worry about. If you want to fly in, drive this home, you can. We've had several of these. This is our last one. Uh, everybody else has driven them home with, with no problems. Uh, like I said, it's got plenty of power. It goes down the road like it should. Um, all the gauges read good. There's no, uh, you know, they're not out of range or too high or too low on the volts or the oil pressure, any of that stuff. Um, all the outside mirrors, none of them are cracked. And there's there's more mirror coverage. I like these little front ones on each corner. Let you see down in front of the bus, so you know you make sure there's no kids in front of you before you take off, because that was. That could be a bad deal. Um, you can see rear AC controls, uh, domes, heater. Turn all those off. That was for the dome lights in the back and some other stuff. Um, got a cigarette lighter. Got an extra power port. You can buy a nice little radio stick in that hole on Amazon, 30 or 40 bucks. And if you buy this, if you want to, um, you know, get on Amazon and, and ship one to us. We'll, uh, and the little adapter harness and stuff, we'll be glad to put you one in at no extra charge. I'm trying to think. Not really a whole, a whole bunch to cover, but um, the main thing about this bus, that 7.3 diesel, because that is the money. And really, the this bus, I could probably get more money for it if I parted it out, if I sold the engine, sold the transmission, uh, sold the bus seats out with good windshield, mirrors, and just junked it, honestly. But, unfortunately, I do not have time to get around to all that. So, I'm just going to sell it like it is. It's going to best offer. If you like it, call me, 601-376-9869. Make me, make me a decent offer, and odds are, I'll sell it. Um, I'm gonna get by this goober. So like I said, if you want to fly and drive it home, we'll pick you up at Jackson International Airport during our regular business hours. No extra charge for that. Um, or if you don't have time to, to come get it, we can make and get it shipped. You'll just have to. Call me or text me with your zip code and stuff, and I'll have to check into it. It is kind of oversized. You're probably looking at dollar, dollar and a quarter a mile. Now, um, or, you know, we might find somebody just drive it to you. Uh, there's lots of options as far as that end, so don't let the fact that you may not have time to come get it dissuade you from uh, trying to buy it. Um, basically, what I'm saying. But like I said, if you have any questions about it, call me. If you want to make an offer, call me. Um, anything else you want to see, I'll be glad to take a picture of it. Anything like that, my cell phone, 601-376-9869. So, be glad to uh, discuss all the, the options and stuff that are... Uh, that are there as far as transportation and everything. And, um, oh, before I go, I just want to show the dash. You can see no warning lights lit, no service lights, none of that. I like to show the dash after I've been driving a little while because, you know, it's easy to take a picture and say, oh, look, no lights. But, or, you know, kill a light with your scan tool and take a picture, I should say. But if there's a problem, and you haven't fixed it, then as soon as you go to driving again, that light's gonna come right back on. So, 
that's why we like to show it after we've been driving so you can see for yourself that there really are no lights lit so uh beyond that if you have any questions give me a call dan dale 601-376-9869 we appreciate you watching the video and listening to everything we've had to say and look forward to seeing you here in jackson mississippi thank you